Hey guys, Mike here and in this video I'm going to show you several of my favorite games for the Samsung Galaxy S5. We start with a classic, GTA Vice City. This game is a bit old now, but it's still one of the most demanding titles in the store. The good news is that it works flawlessly on the S5, even with a detailed pump towards Max. You control Tommy Versetti in its efforts to take over Vice City. You get to perform all sorts of missions, drive all sorts of vehicles, engage with other characters and so on. The gameplay, the action, the story, the graphics, all of them are top notch and I'm pretty sure you're going to love this title, although it's not very affordable. Second on my list is Real Racing 3, and there are plenty of reasons why you'll like this one. It's free to play, it offers countless hours of gameplay by yourself or competing with your friends, and it's one of the most realistic and carefully polished racing games of the moment, as you get to drive hundreds of cars on countless circuits around the world. Next on my list is this game called Quiz Up, an online multiplayer game. You can choose one of the hundreds of different domains available and get a small quiz with several different questions. You compete against other real human beings, and you need to reply correctly to those questions as fast as possible in order to get points. The player with the most points at the end of the round wins. In other words, this is a nicely looking and challenging general knowledge quiz, and the coolest part about this is that you can play with your friends as well, not just with strangers. Subway Surfers is a simple, casual game, one of those never-ending running titles. This time you have to run away from a train conductor and his hound, while ditching train cars, collecting coins and power-ups. Subway Surfers is free to play and quite challenging once you run a bit further, so you should definitely try it if you're into such titles. I've also played FIFA 14 on this smartphone, the latest in EA's popular series. The gameplay is very smooth, with no stuttering at all. It did take me some time to get used to the rather small controls, as I'm usually playing this title on my iPad, but once I did, I was able to really enjoy kicking ass with my favorite team, Bayern München. By the way, which is your favorite football club? Last but not least in this clip comes Asphalt 8 Airborne, an arcade style racing game. You have to beat your rivals in several types of races while collecting power-ups along the road and upgrading your cars. The game is not very realistic but is simple, fun and addictive, especially since it's cheap and runs flawlessly on most above average Android handsets. Wrapping it up, the Galaxy S5 ran smoothly all the games I've tried on it, including the demanding ones. Its backside does become a bit warm and playing for hours, but it never got annoyingly hot. The only bothering aspect is the speaker, which tends to vibrate when turning up the volume. You might get used to that in the end, or just use a pair of headphones instead. Alright, that's about it for now. However, I plan to shoot a follow-up video in a few days, so feel free to suggest some other interesting games that I should try on the S5 in the comments section below. And if you're interested in more details on the Samsung Galaxy S5, check out my extended coverage on the channel. Catch you later.